In this video, I'm going to be carrying out a service on this Fiat Panda. So this is a 2009 Fiat Panda Dynamic Eco. It's 1.2, very basic little cars. Now last year, I did a cam belt and a water pump on this along with a full service. So today it's uh, just another service on this little car. This car belongs to my friend and today I'm going to be in the fortunate position of having a cameraman leaving both hands free for me to get on with the job. So a whole bunch of parts here, most of them genuine. I've got an air filter here, four spark plugs, oil filter. This tool here, this 12 millimeter Allen key is for removing the sump drain plug, OEM spec, pollen filter, and some 5W40 Petronas oil, if that's how it's pronounced. Now frustratingly, the oil filter on these cars is uh, located right under here, and it's not accessible from the top. I like to put some card down to prevent trashing my driveway if the oil leaves the sump rather too enthusiastically. Now we just crack this off. So I use a pair of uh, water pump pliers to grip this rather inconveniently positioned oil filter. spin this oil filter on as you see I put a smear of fresh oil on the ceiling washer o-ring and hand tighten so I'm told that the capacity on this car is 2.8 litres this little jug here takes a litre that's a nice noise so that's the last 0.8 going in so that's 2.8 litres which is actually quite a low capacity. But I'm told this car doesn't use any oil between services, which is pretty good. pretty much spot on. So ordinarily if I was just changing this air filter element it would just be a case of unclipping these and this spring lifting this away which reveals the air filter element which isn't too bad. But because I'm changing the spark plugs I'm going to also need to remove this part of the air box. Very straightforward it's just a couple of 10 millimeter bolts. and the throttle cable just passes through here with this grommet. This breather hose clips into the underside of the airbox. It does look like it's got a little split there. So I think that might need to be replaced pretty soon. Access to the next HT lead plug cap is made easier by unplugging that fuel injector. These plugs are removed with a 16mm socket. And I'll just 
just retrieve that with my magnet again, which comes in very handy for such things. Okay, so old versus new. These originals were Bosch YR7DC. The dealer replacements are NGKs. In terms of the condition of these plugs, there, there are no red flags here. They look okay. The gap's considerable. You can see that the electrode there, that center electrode is, is worn quite rounded. So they definitely needed doing. One of them's a bit oily, but that's just because of the leaking breather pipe that's gonna be replaced at a later date. Access is a bit fiddly on this one. It's good to get the, the extension bar between these wires and pipes. Okay, so I'm gonna torque these to 25 Newton meters. Now this, uh, this torque wrench starts at 19 and torque wrenches are notoriously inaccurate at their lowest settings, but it's still good to try, try and get them torqued up. Feel them click when they engage. While this airbox is off, it's a good opportunity to see a known problem on these cars, and that's water ingress to the interior of the car, which is caused by a couple of vents that can block up. Now they're actually quite accessible and removable from under here. You can actually see in this plenum chamber, there is a rubber bung, and these are removable. And these block up with leaves and silt. So it's certainly a good opportunity to clean these out and it's worth doing at service every year. There's also another one just across here because if these block up this whole area will fill up with water and it will find its way to the interior of the car. So time to refit this airbox. It's important to make sure this seal is intact and position correctly, which seals around here. And then this little stub here is where the breather hose fits. Now, although this breather hose is split, I still want to make sure it's actually on, which it is. And I'll also reposition this grommet for the throttle cable where it secures to this airbox. Just the two 10mm bolts that secure this airbox to the engine. And we can refit the new air filter element. Just compare it to the old one. That's correct size. Make sure it's seated correctly. Refit those two clips, and then this is under here. There's just this spring loaded clip that secures on like that, and that's job done. So, the oil and filter are changed, the spark plugs are changed, and the air filter has been changed. Now, just going to carry out some final checks in the underbonnet area. This is the clutch fluid, and that's an acceptable level. Brake fluid level is fine just there. There are no problems with this belt here, the auxiliary belt. I replaced that last year along with the cam belt and the water pump and the coolant was changed last year as well as part of that process. It's good to protect the battery terminals with some white grease. Fiat's are said to be prone to electrical problems, so you can never really do enough for these. When this vehicle was first purchased, it did have quite a problem um, with the charging system, which was presumed to be an alternator. It did actually turn out to be an earth strap, which had deteriorated. It was quite a devil to diagnose actually, but apparently it's quite common, so do check engine to body earths, and just earths in general on these, as these cables can degenerate over time, and it can give you a charging issue. Now the last thing to change is the pollen filter. And this is a very difficult thing to access. 
lives behind this flap here. So the cover comes off, revealing the filter. Now someone in the past has broken off this little tab here, so it would have been the same as this. I think this would originally have been screwed into position. Uh, there's no evidence that this one has ever been screwed into place. And it does clip in quite well with these clips here. So it's just a case of feeding the new one back in. A little bit difficult to get it started, but that's now in there. cover then snaps back into position. Well that's it, all done. A nice simple job on a very basic car, but very well put together car. Quite simple to work on. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in another video very soon. Thank you and goodbye.